Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so I, this is going to be a Taurus and Taurus moon and uh, oops, Taurus rising. <clears throat> a weekly tarot reading November 4th to November 10th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Taurus, that is to be the Four of Wands. Followed by the next card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is to be uh, the Sun card. Then the third one stands for the positive aspects of uh, the week, that is to be uh, the um, Page of Pentacles. Did I say about the Mons? Now this is the, uh, the topic of the week here. It is the Four of Wands, all right? So the Page of Pentacles, it is the positive aspect of your week here. And the last one is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the Tower card. Oh my, all right. Um, so uh, Four of Wands, which is uh, the topic itself, is going to be catalyzed here with the Ace of cups so these two cards are on their own when interpret on their own they are two very pleasant cards but in elemental dignities actually these are an active enemies in such combination and uh, as an active enemies uh, it kind of like well i don't want to say it in a bad way but it looks like that this week is going to be positive and uh, not positive but let's say a week of growth and in the same time a a week of um, passiveness what i mean is that while throughout the week taurus you are to uh finalize an important cycle in your life kind of like reaching a milestone you know like finishing an important project or a uh, <clears throat> establishing uh, or kind of like successfully finishing in a uh, gaining for enterprise into your relationships uh, afterwards uh, the concept of how to go on and how to move on forward is not going to be much clear to you at that particular stage so uh, that being said while you can find yourself very happy that um, you know you made it work in general and uh, you persevered and uh, you succeed you also are to kind of have this nagging feeling that something isn't right. Uh, it's because uh, where to from now on? Okay, so that will be the loss of concept that you don't that you may not know how to proceed from here while fully understanding that you have reached a, a milestone and from that milestone further improvement it is needed either regarding career or either regarding relationship but how exactly that is not going to be clear in your head quite yet 
And that is for a reason being here with these two cards that say circumstances which are to be required in order for you to have that clear concept what follows next haven't been uh, are not happened yet so um i would say that there is no right or wrong way here how you can tackle with this situation personally uh, if i were in your shoes i was just going to lay lower than the grass and wait for this uh, surprise because a surprise is what you are waiting for is to happen and as this surprise happened then you can move on forward so um yeah it's it's a bit difficult to explain in regards to the week but it seems that you will have a fulfillment uh, but this fulfillment is going to be just a halfway through okay and the rest of the cup that needs to be filled uh, to be filled yet, yet you will not have the concept how you can do so but nonetheless you should be proud of uh, of how far you go you get here and just take a some time to rest and take some time you know to gather your thoughts if you will or just some time to wait for these uh, really it's not decisive but let's say wake up kind of events uh, to happen and that will be the challenge itself. We do have the Sun card here and it is a, a catalyzed by the Knights of Cups. So we do have an, an active enemies once again. <clears throat> and uh, the challenge itself is going to be that you don't have an, an, a uh, natural follow-up, natural chain after this milestone is reached. All right. So... This itself is going to, because these are in an active enemies, this itself, this itself that there is no um, natural extension to, uh, to your endeavor, uh, will make a, a further uh, investment of efforts, time, money, um, attention, priorities, and so on and so forth, a bit futile. It's, uh, it's like there won't be any joy of... Um, manifesting things you know after this milestone is reached for reason being that those things are are to be meaningless for you and for your further goal so that but we do have for you a, a piece of a puzzle that it is missing and you need to wait the right circumstances so that piece of the puzzle kind of reveal itself and then you will know what you will have to do and how to do it and this will kind of um fill up the rest of your cup of uh, emotions but nonetheless um it's important here to be acknowledged it is that uh, and as a challenge it is that you may think that uh, you hold it within your hands and you can alone you know provoke the further growth but according to these cards the further growth is to be provoked by a um, pleasant surprise that only thing you have to do is wait for it to happen right it's nothing else the more you do the more stressed you are going to become and that is a good thing because uh, i mean that is a good thing that uh, there won't be any chance that you can jeopardize something that you have already uh, that you have already reached or achieved unlike other combinations where if you do where whatever you do you know you simply undermine your current progress that is not going to be the case this time around it is just you know, whatever actions or whatever efforts you uh, exert without this um, pleasant surprise to happen, they are going to be just, you know, futile. It's, it's, they're not going to produce the results you want. So the next one, uh, it stands as a, a positive aspect of the week, and that is to be a person here. We do have the Page of Pentacles accompanied with the Seven of one, or the seven of Swords, excuse me. So we do have an, a passive enemies this time around. And that is a, a very devoted type of person, usually youthful in spirits. Devoted, I mean that they completely disregard uh, their personal wish and their personal standings, how they feel in generally. Um, it's a selfless kind of a guy or kind of a woman. As the page stands, it's uh, very um, possible that this person itself, it's a long-term friend of yours. That's um, something in between you two. It's it's happening something in between you two. Uh, I cannot even classify it as a friend, but I cannot classify it as well as a, a suitor quite yet. But if you do, will you can get there? 
okay so there is more than just a, a friendship type of connection in between you two there is a just a, a emotional connection in between the two <clears throat> and uh I don't know how to say it in English, that person just give a lot from themselves, not just to everybody, but also to you as well. Why? It is because they think that you that you worth it, right? Because the page does not invest without a return or kind of like they are very slow in determining how to move on forward for a reason being is that they don't want to waste any resources. So that being said, this person here, it is kind of like a, a helping you with everything, you know, and they are uh, looking that you are okay. They com completely disregard their uh, emotional wellness and their material wellness as well. It's just they want to see you happy. So they definitely have just more than friendship and what you're going to do out of this situation that entirely depends on you um you need to know here it is that you can't expect from them to be completely sincere and as well to kind of like follow your agenda so the very least here taurus you do have an, an, a faithful supporter into your milestone and further agenda someone that is going to patiently wait for the pleasant surprise to come around after this week, into the next week, more, uh, into the next, next weeks, most likely. And together, you know, you can slowly but meticulously move on forward toward a greater height. And the last card is going to be the tower, which is the guidance uh, accompanied with the fall. So that relates to the surprise that I was talking about that you need to wait about. Uh, these two cards as a guidance points that though that surprise is going to be um, completely unexpected. What I mean is, is that it's completely going to blow your mind and is going to open your vision as well for a completely new perspectives, completely new ideas. And that is a good thing because when usually this is signified by tarot, uh, it means that a lot of uh, concepts, especially troublesome concepts like issues, problems, predicaments, plights, etc., etc., they lose relevance because they are no longer playing a substantial role into your uh, future advance toward the future. This is a, a very strong combo that these are a, an active friends here. And uh, while you will have to make... Um, some moves that are suggesting liberation and under liberation i mean letting go of certain uh, certain people let's say or certain situation uh, as more you have to sacrifice from uh, from your current life thus more you know you you can gain from the future and the good thing here is uh, that uh, whatever you can gain it is your guess not anybody's guess but your guess so i hope that you spend that time in between your milestone that you are to reach this week to the surprise that it is coming about to um define for yourself or to figure out what you really want okay because it looks like that you will have the way to get it all right so that was your a weekly tower reading tourist for a november 4th to november 10th 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye